this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, I'm not going to be joined by William or Polly, but Fizzy will be right there. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Fizzy. Fizzy is going to be joining us and uh, and jumping off the balcony by the looks of his. Oh, you're just about on. You're just about still on, Fizzy. Let me give you a hand. Woo! <laughs> There's water. Oh. Oh, there's water not there. I'm sorry, Fizzy. Fizzy, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I was going to knock you into the water. You can have an egg. I don't know if throwing an egg at him is going to make him any happier. Uh, I'm trying to think of how to make it up to him. I'll make it up to you. At some point, Fizzy, today, I'll make it up to you. Oh, no, look how sad he looks down there. Look at his little eyes looking up at me. Oh, no, I've never, I've never seen him not running around and jumping even. No, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Well, it wasn't an accident, but it was a, a joke that accidentally where... Oh, I can't, I can't look at him anymore. I'm sorry, Fizzy. I'll make it up to you. Somehow I'll make it up to you. Oh, no, Fizzy, you have spun around my, my, um, my little boots in the frame. So I think we're equal. You pranked me and I pranked you and now we're equal. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Right, Bonnie, you can stand up and you can join me. I feel so bad. I I don't know why I thought the water stretched out further than that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to look at Fizzy at all during this episode because all I'm going to see in his eyes is just those those sad why me eyes that I'm going to be looking at. I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyway, today to the, the Love Garden, I am going to be adding Ben Bracey. And the reason I'm adding Ben is because he did this really detailed, really colourful picture. And what it basically is, is my Whale of a Time minigame, which is one of my favourite mini games with the the giant whale and he basically built a bunch of my friends around the outside me and then just so much color and detail everywhere it's amazing it's absolutely incredible such a cool idea for a picture so thank you so much for doing that ben and welcome to my love garden right then let's go and drop you oh no fizzy don't 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 i know you're trying to make me even more guilty i'm so i'm so sorry fizzy i'm so i'm so i'm just really sorry i promise i'm really i'm really sorry fizzy where, where are you going Ah, oh dear. Right then, let's go and drop Barnaby off over at the, the doghouse. We can go and, uh, I'm gonna take Fluffy. I'm gonna take Fluffy. I've, I've put Fluffy into the, the doghouse just so I don't need to go all the way to the bigger pet pet shop. Seeing as we are not heading in that direction, we are heading in that direction to today. So Fluffy should be up here. Yep, uh, Fluffy is. You can stand up and you can join me. Barnaby, you can go and sit down there next to, to Benton. And then I'm going to head to the home dome, which I really, really enjoy. You carry on, Fizzy. You carry on. <laughs> See, he's happy and playing with his sheep friend already. He's cheered up and he completely forgives me. Maybe, possibly, hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> right then, so, uh, yeah, we're doing the, the home dome. If you haven't seen the last couple of episodes, it's a big dome with a home on top of it. Basically, it's like a showroom for a bunch of different, like, kitchens and bathrooms and stuff. Uh, we did uh, half of the inside uh, last episode. And so the plan is uh, to, to do the other half in today's episode. So these are the, the kitchens and bathrooms that we have so far, all are looking right rather lovely if I may say so myself and then I think that's the last one we had done and yep this one is looking a little bit more plain than the the other one so let's waste no time uh, let's go straight into to adding some detail and kind of uh, doing all of these different decorations and hopefully I'll show you uh, a few different techniques in this episode that you may not have used in any of your buildings but may help your your buildings out in the, the future so this one is going to be a um Almost like a, almost kind of like a cottagey one. This is going to be, this is going to be a very cozy kitchen. We're going to use uh, this, uh, this stone floor. We're going to have a sandstone wall at the, the back, and then a lot of brown uh, as well. Not a, not a really bright, colourful one like some of the, the other kitchens have been. This one's going to be a little bit, a little bit more neutral. Like <laughs> it's fun building this stuff because I'm like, I'm talking about like a bunch of stuff that I'd never normally talk about. Like I've never used like when describing a build. Oh yes, I'm going to go for a neutral colour scheme. I'm trying to sound like all fancy as if I know anything about decoration but I literally know nothing about decoration but hey that's the fun thing about Minecraft we can do things and kind of kind of play out things that we would never normally do or talk about in real life and that is exactly uh, what I'm going to be doing right now so right then uh, this is going to be where the the back wall is uh, once again we're going to be leaving the the, the side walls as, uh, as quartz uh, and then the the back wall we can do as whatever we want in this case as I said it's going to, to be sandstone and we're not going to have like a huge oven in this one just because I want to have a, a bit more room to, to add some of the the other details in so we are going to have one we are going to have our, ourselves a little furnace down in the, the corner, but it's going to be nowhere near as big. And oh, Barnaby, he's on the wrong side. Let's see whether by the end of the episode, he's going to work out how to, to get inside. Maybe he's going to get fed up of staring through the... Oh, not Barnaby, sorry. Fluffy, what am I on about? What am I on about? Fluffy, uh, I wonder if uh, she's going to work out how to, to make her, her way inside during the, the episode. Anyway, uh, let's go and start adding in some of the, the detail. And let's go and do the... um. 
the like the the countertop first so we're gonna do a, a spruce kitchen here basically as an excuse for me to to keep on saying spruce and this was gonna be a bit different as well because we're actually gonna have a door at the back and that isn't gonna be like necessarily part of the the decoration for the kitchen it's basically gonna be the way to, to access the staff room because we are gonna have a staff room it is gonna be inside of this little room here no window sadly so maybe this isn't gonna be the best place to, to work but yeah we need to have access to it somewhere somehow so there's just gonna be like a door here and we can put a sign above there just saying like staff only or something later on I guess just so people don't wander into to there but anyway this is gonna be like the the hob here I think kind of looks pretty cool so that's gonna be where the the oven is uh for the um the the sink we're gonna use a hopper style for for this one uh, so let's just go and make it a hopper basically uh it's kind of like instead of using a cauldron it's just like a different style of one and then I guess I could make a lever to, to put on the the top of that uh, just to make it look like there's a, a tap which uh yeah makes it look like it's going to be working properly and then in the the corners we can go and do some uh some spruce fences uh, and then there's going to be like a, a whole another big higher up area uh, which is going to look like it's all been held up by these fences here so there's going to be a couple of them one there one there as well and then we're going to go and fill this whole big bit in here uh, as well, uh, just to, to get a little bit more of the, the wooden style in there, just so uh, it just kind of stands out a little bit compared to some of the other kitchens. Let's just do a, a few bunny hops to, to be able to reach the, the top there. It's always easier to, to do like the top bit first and then the bottom bit. I just kind of accidentally did it the, the wrong way around last time. So that's going to go around the, the top there. And then we're going to decorate the, the countertop a little bit because even though it looks fine, just being left with the spruce blocks, I want to add some carpet onto it. Uh, so as I said, it's going to be a, a very brown one, this one. So I'm going go and actually make some brown carpet which I'm going to go and place along the the top of the the counters uh like this and then what you can also do is you can use string and oh I don't have any string on me but what you can do is you can use string to basically make it so that it's floating so what I can do for now is I can just kind of double up these carpets, but uh, yeah, you could do actually, that actually looks okay. I might even just leave it like that. But yeah, basically you can do it like that. And then I might even do a, another fence pole here just to make it look like this is kind of like a, I don't know, like a breakfast counter or, or something. Uh, yeah, just to, to add a bit more decoration. But something else that you can do, which is really cool. And this has kind of been one of the, the favorite things that I've been looking forward to, to showing you is I'm going to do some drawers and I'm not going to use uh, chests like you may uh, imagine. I'm going to go and do some drawers in another way. And I'm going to do it by using, a uh, using a door and you might think that oh actually this is gonna be perfect i think this is the only time i've made three doors and actually needed three doors it's so annoying that it makes three doors <laughs> when you try to make a door because you normally need one or two but never three but in this case i can do because look at this i can do that there like that and then if i go and put the carpet above the doors look at that it looks like there's like two little tiny drawers down there and you can open and close them there's a bit of a, a drop down there but that's pretty cool isn't it that's a, a pretty cool design thing that i think looks cool and then let me show you uh, another one. So we're going to do a, a pretty cool way uh, to do a, um, a chair now. And oh no, oh no, I've just realized we haven't, ha we haven't got the right amount. I am going to need to, to end up with two extra doors, which I'm probably never going to, to use. But yeah, uh, we can use a, a door on the, the back of this chair like that there. And we can even, if we want to be extra, extra fancy, and I think I do today, we can add a banner on the, the front of the door as well, just to make like a super fancy like chair down there. Doesn't that look cool? And then I guess we can just go and... And uh, as a final decoration, just go and add like a, a couple paintings up on the, the walls, uh, just as a, a little bit of, a, of extra decoration. So where are paintings? Let's just go and make a couple of them. We we'll put one up there and then one up here uh, like that as well. So there we go. There is my rather fancy kitchen. The only uh, other thing that I need to do is just to, to add my sign to, to say staff only. I think I'm going to do that last because it's like purposely the most boring thing in here because it doesn't matter how nice the, the staff room looks because like no one sees that. Like what matters is that these rooms look really Really nice and people want to, to have them and then the staff room can just be like a, a little white room which is going to be on the, the the inside here and we can do that a little bit later on but there we go there is a another kitchen and a, a very different style compared to, to the other ones that I did. So let's do let's let's alternate. Let's go and switch to a bathroom. And look at this. I am going to even take my crafting table with me. I am a reformed stampy and I'm just being way better than I used to be. And yeah, let's go and do the, the bathroom. So this one is gonna be this one's gonna be all about the uh the shower. It's gonna have an absolutely amazing shower here, and that's gonna be like the the main big focus point of the, the entire area. So let's go and break this away here. I'm going to actually have this one as a working shower. So my main priority is to, to make sure that the, the water doesn't end up going everywhere. So if I do a little pit down here, this is where the, the water is going to end up going. I might even add like a little, a little seat or even like a... Um 
You know, sometimes there's like, like a little shelf just to put like shampoo and conditioner and stuff that could be down there. Actually, I might even lift this up one block higher then. If I'm going to have it as a, as a shelf, I can do it kind of on that level. Seems a bit more realistic. And then we can go and add in some stained glass, which will basically be uh, the, the windows for the... Um, uh, for the the shower, not the windows, the what's it called? I don't know, just the glass. Just the glass to stop water going absolutely everywhere. You could use a shower curtain, and a good way to use shower curtain is uh, is once again to to use banners can work really well. But I think that uh, this glass just makes it look that a little bit more fancy, and then I can just go and uh, make uh, a few more of these uh, quartz block babies and uh, and put these on the the top up here uh, just to just to to kind of make sure that this looks like the the top of a, of a shower. Let's go and just build up once again with just anything I have in my pockets. This cobblestone will do. Fine. Fine. We can build in the, the roof around here like that. And of course, if we're going to do a working shower, then basically the only real way to, to be able to, to do that is by using a dispenser. Uh, we are going to decorate the, the dispenser a little bit just to, to kind of make it look a little bit more like a shower and a little bit less like, well, a dispenser. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in just one second. But first, uh, let's go and add in the, the dispenser itself, which is going to be up in this top corner here. So basically, I haven't tested this, but it should mean that the water goes down here and then just gets stuck inside of here because it's not going to go and rise up above the, uh, the the half slab. So we can add a button down there. And then for the decoration, all I'm going to do is very simply go and throw some item frames onto the, the side of it and then add... I think I might just start maybe like quartz slabs. You kind of add what you want on, but just like some sort of design just to make it look a little bit different compared to like a normal shower. Nah, I think I think that looks fine. Let's just go and test it out though. So if I go and throw in one of my buckets of water and press the button, it should turn on. Lovely. It's a bit of a, an extreme shower. <laughs> this is a this is a power shower. This one is it. I can't even get into it. It's just pushing me out. But hey, it does the the effect. And then if I go and turn it off, then uh, as you can see, all of the water stays nice inside of the, the shower. So let's just go and decorate a little bit more of the, the, the area just to um make it look more like a proper room. So I'm going to leave the, the quartz around the, the outside of the, the shower. And I guess for the, the floor, we can just do sandstone. This kind of looks like the, the sort of color you might be able to, you know, you might see inside of a, a normal bathroom. So that can be around there. Uh, let's go and make a, let's go make some stairs. We can do as like a, another little shelf on the outside. And Fluffy, I believe in you. At some point, you're going to be able to make your way inside of here, Fluffy. At some point, you're going to work out that all you need to do is just teleport to get inside and then you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, at least Fluffy's a little bit safer there, because I am, like, swinging around all of, like, my, my pickaxe and axe and stuff, and uh, it might be a little bit dangerous for her inside of here, so at least she's kind of nicely up the, the way for, for now. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to go and add in a, um... Uh, a towel. So this is meant to be a towel there. You can even be extra fancy and add in a, uh, a tripwire hook, which works really well for like a hook for like a towel or something. So if I just go and add that in there, it, it, I mean, it's kind of like floating underneath it a little bit, but you, you get the idea of what that's meant to, to be. So there we go. Here is a bathroom number three. So there's going to be one more of, uh, of them to, to go. Uh, but for now, let's kind of keep on moving around the, the outside and go for the, uh, the final kitchen this is, isn't it? Is that right? Right, because there should be a kitchen there. Yeah, this is going to be the, the last kitchen design that I'm going to, to do. I make it sound all dramatic, like I'm going to burst into tears now. The last kitchen. Well, it is. It is going to be the, the last kitchen. And yes! Fluffy, you've made it inside. Oh, I am so proud of you, Fluffy. I I knew eventually you would work out how to get inside of here and immediately right on top of the, the block that I'm trying to, to place down. <laughs> right then, so this kitchen we're going to be using, uh, it's going to be a white floor, but we're going to be using white concrete rather than the, the quartz, basically just because there are too many quartz inside of here. I want a break. And I want it to be like a a, a smoother looking one rather than kind of the, the tile effect. And uh, Fluffy, sorry, now you're coming here. I'm immediately going to tell you to, to sit down you you can sit down in uh you can sit down over there and i will be around the the corner with you in just one moment so yeah this one's going to be kind of like a, a very white and black kitchen i guess we're gonna have a, a very white floor and then uh, uh some black kind of like countertops and stuff as well and once again a, a very big oven we're gonna have on the the back so i've actually run out of materials but i have a left some inside oh what's going on here oh <laughs> hello fizzy um <laughs> I'm not even going to ask, Fizzy. Oh, oh, he's always oh, going up into the house. 
He's doing something inside of that. I think he's taking the, taking the sheep into the house. I think that is now the sheep's house. Okie dokie, so as long as, uh, as long as Fizzy is staying busy while I'm building all of this, he's, uh, keeping himself out of trouble, I guess, is the, the bright, uh, side of it. Uh, right then, what we want to do for this one is, I'm going to take the brewing stand and the, the bottles of water, uh, because that's going to make kind of like a coffee machine. Uh, I've got a redstone lamp just to add some different lamps, and then we need the, the black wool and the black concrete as well, uh, but my inventory is full, so let me just go and throw away a bunch of this stuff that I don't need. Don't think I need any glass. Nope, so let's go and throw that away. Uh, I don't need these signs, and so now I can go and grab the, the concrete uh, again, and uh, I will be emptying my uh, pockets kind of pretty soon anyway when I uh, go and start placing down all of these things. All right then. Let's go back and uh, carry on with this uh, this kitchen. So I think I'm going to start off by uh, just putting down all of the, the countertops all the way around the, the outside. Eventually, I'm going to end up kind of breaking some of these things away when I go and add in the uh, like the, the fridge and stuff. But basically, this is going to be the, the style. And once again, we're going to go and do like a, um, a bit of like a, um, a breakfast counter thing. So let me go and make some uh let me go and make some fences i guess just one fence will be enough and this one's going to kind of loop around the the side here so this time uh, i do have some string so i go and place the the string down on the the floor like that and then once again i can go and make myself some carpets just like this and then this is basically going to, to just stretch it out a little bit further around the the outside here just to, to kind of make it look a little bit more like a, a room and then i guess we can go and uh, finally tackle the the all-important oven which is generally the the biggest thing inside any of these kitchens so once again we're gonna go and use a, a furnace one this one's gonna be like a little bit more of a, of a modern one like rather than like the the kind of huge cobblestone ones this one's just gonna be like a little bit more of a of a standard modern one that you might just see in like a normal not ridiculously fancy house <laughs> so let's just go and build up the the chimney part of it up here i still haven't learned the the correct words for all of this stuff and uh, for this one we're gonna use uh, actually i might have some in the chest out here i'd like to reuse it if i do uh, but yeah, i'm gonna use some iron bars going up the the side uh, just as if that's how holding it all up. And yes, I do have some spare iron bars. Look at me actually reusing materials for once rather than just throwing them all inside a recycle bike. So uh, these are going to be holding up the, the rest of the, the oven. So let's do uh, a couple more stone bricks behind this area here like that. And then I guess I can do some uh, some stone brick stairs. Uh, that are going to be on the other side there. Once again, just to kind of make it look a little bit more sloped and rather, you know, rather less blocky, I guess is the, the way to describe it. So those stairs can go there like that. And then we can do a little bit of the, the thicker chimney coming out here. And then this will all be uh, held up by these iron bars like that. And then around the, the back here, uh, we're going to go and add in some redstone lamps. And oh, actually, Fizzy, can you can you do me a favor, please, Fizzy? If you grab grab these quartz... Go, can you go inside of the middle room? Uh, you've got to go around like through one of the kitchens, the, the brown kitchen. Could you build on all of the walls just a bunch of quartz? So basically just make it so this entire room is just quartz. So just build like one block in, uh, just like that. And then, uh, yeah, don't worry about the, the ceiling. And then that will make things easier for, for me when I go and uh, finish off the, the cubicle. But yeah, there's going to be a couple redstone lamps here. I guess I need I need a way for them to, to be lit up. I might just go and do that from the, the other side, but I can just go and add some, some levers down. Or we could, if it looks okay, just do levers on this side. I guess it looks all right, but the good thing about it, at least you can like switch them on and off when they're, they're done on this side. Uh, they're like that. That looks pretty cool. You could even do these above the, the oven because a lot of them have like lights above the oven. Could be a, a cool effect if you want to kind of do something uh, a little bit different. But anyway, let's go and add in some of these details. So uh, a good coffee maker or I guess a, a tea maker or whatever you want to, to have it as uh, is a, a brewing stand. Looks kind of like that. It always looks better when you actually uh, add some of the, the bottles in there uh, as well. And then I'm going to add uh, a chopping board down here, which is just a pressure plate. And then we can go and add in a, a few more of the, the standard things that we have been adding to, to all of these kitchens. So I'm going to add in a cauldron and I'm going to fill that full of, uh, of water uh, just to pretend that that's the, the sink. Once again, it doesn't make any sense to, to have the, the sink constantly filled with water. But hey, it makes it very, very obvious what that thing's meant to be. And then I can use the, the tripwire hook once again as if that's a, a tap kind of turning it on and off. And then for the, the fridge, we're going to once again use the white concrete. Uh, to, to make the, the style of this uh, this fridge. As soon as this is a uh, another pretty modern kitchen, I think I'm going to use the uh, the iron door as the, the front uh, of the, um, the the fridge here. So let's go once again. I've made three of them. I didn't need three of them. And yeah, let's go and place that down there like that. And we can even uh, go and add a button on the, the side of that so you can press it to, to actually uh, be able to, to open up and close the, the fridge. And there's one final decoration that I want to, to add to, to that build before I consider it done. And that is a cake because I have not added uh, a cake 
in yet, and I think, oh, I might add in a, um, no, I just add in the cake. I add in the cake, that will be fine. So yeah, let's go and throw down the, the cake uh, inside of here, and then we can say that the, the final kitchen has now been completed. Although, Fizzy, feel free to, to add any extra decorations to any of these builds. Uh, and uh, while Fizzy does that, I'm going to go and do the, the final build down here, which is going to be the, the last kitchen. And this is going to be a fun one. This is going to be a, a very bright and colourful kitchen, a very a very blue kitchen as well. I do, though, uh, need to, to go and grab all of the, the materials inside of this chest here. And uh, yeah, as you can guess, it's going to be a whole load of blue. So let's take the uh, let's take the blue flower and some flower pots. These are going to be some more towels. Uh, these here are going to be for the, the floor. And I think that should be everything that I need. So let's just go and kind of uh, get rid of a, a bunch of this other leftover stuff, which I'm not going to, to really need otherwise. So all right then, let's go and get the, the final kitchen done. And then I will be able to say that the uh, the showroom part of the, the home dome at least is going to, to be complete. So uh, we're just going to kind of alternate. This is a light blue concrete and cyan concrete, which looks really nice together and really does just kind of look like the, the type of floor that you would... Um you would see in a bathroom maybe in like uh, the bathroom for like uh, a child it kind of looks like that but to be fair i just think this would look nice in any bathroom anyway because these these like colors look really good to, together and they're just kind of some of the the nicer concrete colors anyway so let's just go and fill in all of the the floor there like that and then this one is going to have a big wardrobe this is going to be the thing that's going to kind of make it stand out compared to the other one is it's going to be as if this is like i don't know like a big family bathroom which is shared by a whole load of people and then there can be like a, a whole load of uh, of towels just kind of all in a row and it looks really good like that and once again we're just going to be using the the banners to, to make the the towels uh do them all in a, in one big long row uh, and then that way it's just going to look like this is just a closet especially when you don't open it when you open it it kind of like ruins the the look a little bit and you can just see that it's a row of banners but when you have like all of the the doors shut it's going to look really good and oh i just realized something i just realized something. i need three doors i actually do need three doors okay this now might be the first ever time i've actually needed <laughs> to three doors for a bill but let's go let's go and add in the let's go and add in the the towels first then shall we so very simply if you just crouch down you can place them all in a row like that and so it looks like it's like a, a closet full of a bunch of towels if you didn't have something on the other side you could kind of do the back area so it looks like uh looks like um wood as well so it will kind of fit in a little bit more uh, and then uh yeah that's the the way it's going to, to be all in a, in a row it's not necessary uh, to, to have a uh, an elephant inside of the closet but that is an option which is available to you if that's something that you uh that you want <laughs> and then yeah let's do a different style of, uh, of toilet here we've done uh, quite a few different styles of these toilets i think we've got like a different style toilet in every single one this one's going to be slightly different basically we're going to use a dropper here and then we're going to do a hopper facing into the the dropper it's not going to be like mechanically working in any way it just kind of makes it look like a, a different style of toilet if you kind of want to make it stand out compared to the the rest of them and then i need to, to add some white concrete if you excuse me there fizzy so i can finish off doing the toilet uh, we need to add that block on the the background there uh, we can add a button down here and then just the the toilet seat as well which is going to be as you may expect a wooden trap door which we can go and place over the hopper and then you can press the button and it will flap open and you can kind of pretend that you're talking to it and it goes it's like hello looks a little bit like a duck i will be on this <laughs> <laughs> but it's not it's a toilet and then seeing as this is the blue kitchen and you saw that i picked up the the blue flower uh let's go and make this into like a little cabinet or something you can kind of pretend that you can open it up and then just for an added bit of decoration we can put a, a flower pot on top of that and then the the blue flower and there we go that is the the final bathroom done so the only other thing i need to, to do which will be very very quick uh, because it's going to be very very simple uh, and that is going to to be the the office which is going to be on the inside here so as you can see it's a a pretty plain and not very exciting office uh, but what we can do is just go and add in a, a desk and a computer and that's going to be just about it it kind of just makes me laugh like having like a really simple boring office when everything else has been like you know everything else is meant to look really good and be like really well decorated just the idea of just having like a really horrible like staff office just in the, the middle just kind of makes me laugh a little bit and let's be honest no one is actually going to be working here or spending any proper amount of time in here i, d I don't think we're going to do an employee of the the month mini game for for this one so uh, we can just do that there we can make a computer by just using basically any white block uh, and then i can use a stone pressure plate kind of looks a little bit like a keyboard about closer as uh, enough as you can in minecraft and then also a button makes a pretty good mouse that looks okay and then you can just basically go and place an item frame down and i guess he could just be 
looking at like let's just say he's looking at a chair or something so i could put one of the uh one of the spare doors in there there we go he's ordering a, a new shipment of doors apparently <laughs> and i think maybe just one one little sad flower do you want to go bring me a flower fizzy do you want to go pick a flower from somewhere and you can go and put it in the the little flower pot in there that can be a little bit of color and of course seeing as this is a, an office i think it's only going to be fitting to to have a a bad poster on the wall so i think i'm just going to do like like a painting on the the wall and just do like a, a sign next to it that just says like mondays or something or like hang in there you know those little you know monday motivational like posters that you sometimes see inside of offices so let's just go and grab some wool and i can go and make myself a painting which is oh do i need to make some sticks i need to, to make some more sticks and then i just go and put a, a sign next to that and i can make my sign now then let's go and throw, throw away fizzy's pink wool back inside of here so yeah let's go and place that down there and then i believe the the showroom's gonna be 100 percent complete the the home dome the only thing I want to do after that is to, to go and see what's going on with the, the sheep upstairs is one of the, the other things that I'm curious about. <laughs> right then, what's going to be a, what's going to be a good painting to add down here? Nah, I don't know. It needs to be like, we need like the most boring painting. What do you think the most, the most boring painting is? Let's, let's do one of the, the longer thin ones. Let's do, yeah, that one. That's going to be the most boring one in the world, doesn't it? That's going to be the most boring one inside of Minecraft. And then we can just go and put this down here. And then like in quotation marks, we can just put like Mondays, I think will be a very, very fitting thing to, to go inside of a, a very mundane, boring <laughs> office. So let's go and write Mondays here in quotation marks. Uh, it's going to be a post that's going to make everyone laugh when they come inside of here and then i guess we can add a, a chair down and seeing as i kind of have these leftover stuff here we can just go and add them down there like that and there we go this is going to be the the office inside of the uh inside of the the home dome right then fizzy do you want to do you want to take us upstairs then and do you want to, to show me your, what you've been working so busily on in the the top of the the home dome <laughs> We've got a lovely colourful rainbow staircase. Sadly, this will not be staying for forever. It kind of it kind of changes it a little bit. What does this say? Uh, love Garden Sheep House. This is the, the sheep from the, the Love Garden. Very happy inside of here. And wh why does this look better than all of my houses? Do you know how long I spent designing all of those different decorations downstairs? I mean, you've just got a very unique style for it. It looks good, though, and I'm sure that the, the sheep is going to be very, very happy living inside of here. So, yeah, I think this is going to be the, the Love Garden sheep uh, sheep's new permanent home. <laughs> oh, dear Sadie, though, that is going to be the end of this episode here. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed seeing us building the, the home dome. In the next episode, we're going to be heading back over to my fun land, where we're going to be building a, a brand new mini game. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that's going to, to be yet, but I guess we can find out together. And as always, there'll be a link down in the description to the the next episode for once it's online but for now i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later bye